everyone how are you doing we welcome you all to the coverage of build 14342 the latest windows 10 mobile redstone build that microsoft has pushed to windows insider sin fastering the build brings with itself uh, changes new features lots of fixes and improvements and in this video we will not only cover the official changes official improvements uh, that are there in the official change log provided by microsoft but we will also demo the unreported changes which are very important and we could explore and find them so to begin to begin with uh, we will start with one improvement which is really good really nice but it was not covered in the official change log section it was rather in the fixes one so maybe uh, you may have or may have not noticed it so we will uh, begin with that so if you go to the lock screen so you see uh, microsoft had changed how the music control appears and how it uh, behaves so when i talk about behavior mostly now you can uh, when you tap on this so okay first let me tell you that uh, this device is on build 14332 and this is on 14342 so when you now uh, tap any of the music controls on the lock screen it would not be i mean you would not it would not appear that significantly but in case you do the same on 144 Three, four, two. So it, it will appear really significant. So when you see uh, this music control, when you press on them, they will look pressed. So they give a feeling that you have really pressed them. So it's a very minor change, but obviously uh, when we talk about UI and UX, minor changes uh, really, uh, I mean, they can make a difference. So as you can see, it was very kind of negligible kind of touch or I mean that kind of feeling when you uh, touch this uh, music control on 1432 but on 14342 it is significant I mean it really feels that you have pressed the music control so this is one of the change or let's say it's just an improvement as for Microsoft so now going to other changes which you may find more significant and this is unreported one so if you go now to the action center you can see that action center notifications now appear differently in the action center so uh, the time has moved from right to left below the notification so we can actually show you some images which or a screenshot which we had captured so that you can see the difference between these two so this is a screenshot of how the WhatsApp message used to a notification used to look like on build 143432. Uh, but if you go to build 14342, it looks different. So you can see the difference between the WhatsApp. So in a nutshell, if we uh, talk about what the changes look like in notifications, then uh, it, it looks more uh, in line with the dark theme and the icon I mean because this was a colored icon in 14342 it has not it is not colored it is more in line with the dark theme so it has become kind of darker and you can see the time that used to be on the right side of the notification has moved to below the notification to the left so it, it really looks uh, better if you are using the dark theme it just looks good so this was the earlier how the notification is to look in the action center and this is how it appears now in the build 14342 so th these are like screenshots because uh, currently this device did not uh, i mean he <laughs> don't have a notification tool so that uh, we just captured a screenshot to compare but if you go to now uh, this device which is running 14342 you can now see actually live that notifications have changed you can see how that icon looks like it's quite different actually from it's not colored and it, it is more in line with the dark theme it really looks good and obviously the time has moved from here to here and you can now do more so uh, you can now expand if you go to twitter you can expand if you go to whatsapp you can expand So this is something which is very significant and it was not mentioned in the official change log so we thought that we should mention it so it's here apart from this if we talk about what 
more has changed which is not uh, covered by Microsoft so if you go to settings you would be able to notice uh, new icons for many of the settings so especially if we go to update and security so here there was no icon in the windows for the windows insider program settings but now it has got one icon and one important thing is that this device encryption earlier it used to be under the system settings it has moved under the update and security in the build 14342 so this is 14332 this is 14342 So there are two changes that you could notice now if you go to other settings we will see more changes so if we go to privacy you can see the location icon has changed the speech inking and typing that had changed phone calls it has a changed icon similarly many other icons look like have gone through changes so like feedback and diagnostics you can see advertise advertising id background apps so you can see lots of icon have changed if you go to settings and similarly if we go to personalization you can see notice more icon changes so start has got a new icon and it is similar to the icon that we see on windows 10 so if you go to the windows 10 pc version and if you'll uh, notice the uh, build 14342 you will see that this is the similar kind of icon for start there colors obviously no same actually but start has changed apart from that i think lock screen has a new icon even glance screen has a new icon and uh, I think the order has been changed so now navigation bar which has got a new icon as well that has moved to the bottom so these are many I mean changes many many changes in the icons of the settings various settings sub settings so we saw lots of changes in privacy we, we saw uh, many changes in the personalization similarly we explored we will find more but now coming to more setting changes we will see to we'll go to the system messaging here the messaging settings have changed completely all the settings which used to be there on the messaging settings space has moved now it has moved in case of 14342 uh, under the messaging app itself in the messaging app itself so so you can notice this is also unreported change so there you can see i mean this was not reported so you would uh, no more see all these settings under the messaging Even though you can see that there are some changes in uh, terms of the phone uh, settings UI. So it, this looks different in case of 14342 from the 14332. So Microsoft is already doing the changes in background and you would not notice until you are being told that these have changed. And you can again notice uh, change in some icons so battery again has got a new icon the storage has changed the order so storage was after the battery here but it is before battery here device encryption has moved as we said moved under update and security and uh, so these are the uh, i mean unreported changes that we talked about mostly except then the change that we saw on the lock screen but we saw that how notifications have changed they look different now they look more in line with the themes and obviously the uh, notification now have the date moved and 
you can actually expand them to get more uh, information so these are the changes and we also saw lots of uh, changes in the icons in settings when we go and we can notice those changes now coming to the official changes which uh, we will obviously like to demo to you so one of the changes that you can see which was covered officially is apps for websites but this is one setting space that has now appeared under the system this is now I mean there is nothing no data here under this setting so there is nothing under this setting but as Microsoft has uh, I mean mentioned in the blog post that it is coming because there are not many apps that support this kind of feature but it's coming and uh, they have asked us to stay tuned for more so we will do that now going to one important change which is there in official change log is about a feature that we we covered earlier so we are talking about swipe swipe to uh, go forward or backward so this is one very important change or feature that was there uh, earlier in, in internet explorer on windows phone 8.1 was it was missing actually in windows 10 mobile it's a feature which is really handy very nice and cool to use actually it has a wow factor with it So now you can swipe to go back. So as you can see, we uh, have gone back to the earlier page and we can swipe to go forward as well. So swipe to go back and go forward works fine. Let's go forward. So the good thing is that this feature is working really fine. I mean really well here on the Microsoft Edge. Apart from this, if you go to the feedback hub, Microsoft has made uh, brought some improvements in feedback hub. And when you create uh, any of the new feedback, you can actually, uh, I mean, categorize it. it. Whenever you create a new feedback, it will offer you the categories and subcategories by default, and you can actually choose from them. So these are the few official, three official, basically three official changes. So associate app uh, for website that is still incomplete. It has to still get uh, the feature in action. Then we saw the Microsoft Edge, the swipe in action for moving uh, forward or going backward. I mean, while browsing. And this is the third one. So here you can see whenever you now create something, it will obviously offer you the category and subcategory. 
so these are the changes that we have observed the unreported must be covered then we covered the official changes so hope you have liked this video if you find anything new or if even you find anything new do let us know if you find anything new we will obviously come back uh, with i mean covering those changes so thanks for watching stay tuned for our hands-on impressions of the build 14342 that we will uh, post very soon thanks